I'm Nicolas this year. I'm working for HFA Beer, a travel com beer, com beer travel company, and we are today here at the fourth edition of the Beer à Lille Festival, the Bal. What's it like this year? What what's featured? You have you're in a different place from yes. 2019. You skipped it for 2020. Yeah, exactly. Like most festivals, we didn't uh, we were not able to make it last year, so we had to cancel it. And the place where we the venue where we used to to make the festival uh, was uh, not uh, available this year. So we decided to, to change. And when we met here with those guys, like uh, big exhibition venue, uh, we told them what we wanted to do, but uh, we needed to have some more staff on the side. To, to make it bigger and uh, better. So we had a good deal with them and they decided to uh, help us to make, of course, the same scene bigger. So to the, the CS, uh, 102 breweries that are here, but also they helped us with uh, the, the food, the, with the concerts and stuff like this. So yeah, it's a. Uh, it, yeah. I saw. Exactly, it's exactly. exactly. It's, it's a, just a lot of fun. It's a, it's a big improvement for us. So it's, uh, it's very nice and we are very glad because we wanted to keep this atmosphere. It's, it's still a beer festival. We want it to be simple. We want uh, people to enjoy the time here, to have good stuff with their friends. That's what they want to have after those two years. And uh, we are glad that uh, that's the atmosphere that we find here. And of course, you feature French brewers, but also I see a lovely international section yeah. with a lot of my favorite brewers from all over the world. And of course, you, since we're bearing it based in Belgium, although we cover everywhere, I see you have a whole Belgian section and a very enthusiastic. It's amazing. Uh, how yeah. did you? Actually, we, want, we always wanted to have the kind, some kind of stuff. One third of the exhibition uh, were here, like uh, coming from very local, very local brewers. Some part to show the French scene because it's very important that the good stuff in the west part, the south part. So we're very glad to welcome this this, this exhibitor as well. And then, of course international we're working with major distributors here to to make them come to help uh, the all the the shipment and stuff but uh, we want to show also to the people who live here in Lille and who come to the festival that this happens everywhere in the world and uh, yes yeah, so this year we have a special booth with five beer from uh, Czech Republic and it's very nice as well for us because once again we want to uh, to show that the beer could be expressed in very different way depending on the world the heritage that you have come so it's very nice as well and where do you go from here? Uh, what what is the the craft beer scene? How how did it survive in Neil and how did it survive in France? Uh, France. After COVID, we were very like uh, we didn't know exactly where we were moving and then as far as the bars restaurants reopened the craft beer scene we started from like it's nothing happened exactly so we are very glad for them because uh, they are still here first we were not sure about that and then they all have very big projects to uh, improve the, uh, the vessels to change the size of the brewery to find new market and stuff so here in local uh, metropolis and Lille it's now 35 brewers that are here, from very small to the bigger one. But anyway, it's still improving. We have like, uh, each year we also want to feature like the very, very new. So we have four uh, brewers that we invite here because they are very new. We want to have them to find a new market and to test their own beer. So it's, uh, it's becoming more and more common to have craft beer everywhere in the bar and the brewers improve their beer in the same time. So it's uh, going on the very good way for, for all the location. And I see a lot of brewer, uh, brewers and the actual owners are actually here. And that's a good evolution for, for you. Definitely, definitely. That's what, what's that's something that we were looking for. And uh, the fact that they are here with us, it's, uh, that's the heart of our festival at the beginning. So it's, uh, it's wonderful. It's, it's amazing, actually. Doing this just after when COVID just stopped and everything reopened, like, it's so, so glad. So, so glad. Lille, uh, you know, I've been hearing, I have a friend who comes here often and he's been pointing out floors there. There's really been a real evolution, even with that COVID, they haven't stopped. No. And there's some neat bars. And exactly, exactly. It's really growing. Exactly. And uh, I would say beer in Lille is not very new because we have a strong heritage in beer brewing and that's why we're doing the festival at, at first. But 
five years from now, it was like very local beer bars, very specialized. But when you go to a classic venue, you wouldn't find very local beers. And for a couple of years, it has been amazing. Every bar, yesterday we were in a small bar restaurant. They have five taps, only local brewers. They just uh, hosted uh, yesterday Galibier, who is one of the most famous brewers in France as well. They are very looking for new stuff and they are very glad to talk to their clients about the new beer and the local beer scene. And once again, everything, we are just, uh, uh, I used to say here, we are just a very small part. This event is making just a very small part so that everybody can gather once, they meet, and then they're doing all by themselves the stuff the, the, the rest of the year. And when the bar comes here and say, oh, what's happening to the, to the beer? I can't miss it for my bar. And then it goes this way and they find new place, new bar, new brewers, and it all goes that's like this way. And, uh, very nice, and I think we are just at the very beginning of something very, very big for the for the brewers in Lille, because all the venue now, when they open, they are all changing their mind. We, we, we need craft, and we need local crafts. As seen. Where do you go from here, Nicholas? Where do I go? Where do you go from here? What's the evolution from this festival and Chateau de Beer? And there's been a big test because uh, bigger venue means uh, also bigger risk. So we didn't know exactly. So far, after uh, one afternoon, we expect it not to be uh, bigger because we don't know. We, we didn't want to be like the biggest one or whatever. We want to improve. Actually, we want to go faster with the, the food. We want to go with more music, maybe in a couple of years. And uh, maybe here, you know, there are like three big holes. Maybe next year it will be this one only for brewers and for other stuff. I want the beer and the music and the festival in the next one. So maybe that's uh, the next move that we'll make. And uh, more fest and maybe also uh, for a longer time because here it's only Sunday, uh, Saturday afternoon and Sunday during the day. We want also to make like a Friday night events so that uh, a bit more like a party. Well, we look forward to that. There is and thank you so Keep much. the date because I think we won't change the date anymore. It will be the third uh, weekend of September. Well, thank you so much for talking to us and congratulations on a great festival. Thank you very much, guys.